Hello, welcome back to Fleet Signal. My name is Alex, and today I'm going to unbox the UNSC Orion Assault Carrier Upgrade for Halo Fleet Battles. So, let's jump in. Okay, so this is part of the first wave of Halo Fleet Battles products in 2016. Um, I've lost count of which wave the game is on now, like five, six, seven, something like that. Um, but yep, this along with the RCS for the Covenant, which I've also unboxed, um, it's part of the first wave of 2016, so let's take a look. Quick look at the box. Um, usual Halo Fleet Batters box, 2016, 2016, oh yep. Yeah. On the side, shows you the ships in actual size. You get 12 plastic Paris frigates and four resin Orion assault carriers. Um, top of the box just gives you, like, tells you what what's inside. And back, some blurb and yeah, the other products in the line. Let's open this up and have a look inside. Okay, time to dig out the contents of this box. All right, so let's put that to one side. Usual load of stuff. So, first of all, let's have a look at this. Um, just quickly, this is a smaller cut sprue of Paris frigates. It looks like it's actually been cut from the uh, from the you know the larger sprue that you get in the starter set, but yep, more Paris frigates because because Paris frigates are the de facto small ship right now in Halo Fleet Battles. Hopefully, we'll get some new smalls at some point during 2016. And also, we have these, which are the actual Orions and bits and pieces themselves. So let's zoom in. Okay, so this is the main body of the Orion. As you can see, it's quite, you know, it's quite flat. I mean, it's got like, you know, like non flat parts on the top. But it does have that kind of steep side and, you know, flat bits on the top. And as far as I can tell, no stepping either, which was a problem that some people had with the Punic. Lots of stepping on the, on the ship, but this doesn't have it. So yeah, it's a nice boat for the, uh, for the UNSC. And we also, for each ship, have these. Okay, so yeah, I need need to need to clean up the the back of this. I've tried snipping it already, and you know it hasn't. Um, still still can't get the piece on. So it needs a bit of clean up on the back. But once you've got that, you know, straight and you know cleaned up, then it will kind of go on like that, and it's like a, it's a two piece model. And as far as I can tell, yeah, these are actually magnetized. Um, well, I have holes for, magneti for magnetiz magnetization. So I guess you could magnetize this if you wanted to, or simply glue it in. Um, Spartan Games does have a thing about magnetizing right now with, you know, Firestorm Task Force and by the looks of it, this. But uh, yeah, that's the Orion. You get four of these and they're made out of resin. Okay, and you also get the usual sprue of bases and pegs, which I think are now as standard. They're the slightly improved ones where you don't have to shave the peg to get it to, you know, plug into the ship and to plug into the base. Because that, that was something that people, you know, commented on last year. So I think Spartan went ahead and improved that. And there's also a bag of stuff. I like these big bags, they're handy to keep things in. Oh, and a little bag of bits as well. So in here we've got a little um, bag of metal bits. First um, Halo Fleet Battles product with metal bits. The camera is completely unable to focus on this. And some resin bits as well, which no doubt will be in the... Um, this! This tells you how to put the ship together. On the one side you've got the Orion, and the other side, you've got the RCS for the Covenant. You know, same piece of paper, can put it into every box, you know, saves time and money, I guess. So you've got the assembly instructions there. Um, you've got the stats as well for the ship, so for the ships. So on one side here, we've got the Orion in its different um, configurations, combat, reinforced, supported, and solo. And on the back, we've got the Covenant RCS, cruisers as well. Um, there are also some of these base overlays. 
um, you can see that this has got a slightly different color because as far as, as far as I can remember, that means that it's a specialist formation, which can only take one of in each fleet. And you can only take one specialist formation for each regular formation that you take. So we've, get, we've got some overlays there as well for each of the formations. And some Halo tokens. Um, the more Halo products you buy, the more of these tokens you'll, you'll you know, accumulate. But you get one or two of these sheets in pretty much every Halo box. Okay, so there we go. The contents of the UNS Orion class assault carrier upgrade for Halo Fleet Battles. Um, as I said earlier, more ships are always welcome in Halo Fleet Battles. And yeah, I can't wait to get this on the table to you know try it out, see how it plays. Um, I've heard mixed reports about you know how this ship plays from people who've already tried it. Um, some people seem to like it, some don't. Some people seem to play it in one way, some people seem to play it in a completely different way. So it's good that there's you know lots of different ways to play the ship by the looks of things. Um, because you know that gives depth to the game. Okay, so as always be sure to subscribe and share this video if you think someone else might like it. Um, and yeah, leave a comment to let me know what you what do you think of the Orion? Um, if you play Halo Fleet Battles, are you gonna pick one up? Um, are you are you gonna leave it? Um, you know, let me know what you think of the ship. And as usual, you'll find Fleet Signal on all the right services in all the usual places. Okay, that's all for now. Until next time, see ya!